Yo everybody, welcome back to another video. Thanks for stopping by and tuning in to another one. You're freaking amazing. So guys, it is no secret here on the channel. I'm in love with Mortis. He's by far my favorite brawler in the entire game. And if there was a feature in Brawl Stars to see the playtime on the specific brawlers on your account, Mortis would be by far the highest amount of playtime on my account. So guys, I think it's about that time to hop into a very highly requested video here on the channel. And that is a Mortis guide slash tips that I've accumulated through my countless hours of gameplay with Mortis that you guys should be practicing in order to get a little bit better with him if you are trying to. Alrighty guys, so before we get into the actual game mechanics, the stuff that you guys want to practice in order to get a little bit better with Mortis, we have to go over some of the basics, and that is what game modes do you want to push Mortis on? Because Mortis is a very particular brawler that has game modes that you cannot push him on, such as Heist. So the three game modes that, through my experience, have been really successful in my eyes are Gem Grab, Bounty, and Showdown. So, in my opinion, I feel like Gem Grab is probably his prime game mode, as well as Showdown being very, very close behind that, if you are good in showdown but for 3v3s definitely gem grab i feel like he fits into multiple different team comps as well as multiple different maps inside the game where he's a little bit more map specific inside a bounty you got to be a little bit careful where there are a lot of longer range bounty maps that the long range brawlers thrive in and mortis might not be that crazy good on the maps that mortis thrives in in pretty much every game mode but more specifically in bounty are maps that have a lot of walls as well as bushes for you to get to the enemy team without being detected or constantly a focal point on the map. So of course in Bounty there are a lot of maps that are pretty wide open and you want to avoid those types of maps where the long range brawlers thrive like the Pipers and the Brocks and the Pennies. He has a really hard time against those single damaging brawlers at a long range so you basically have to rely on juking shots in order to get close whereas if you have a map with a lot of walls, a lot of bushes, you can rely on seeking cover and getting there kind of undetected through the bushes. So with the basics out of the way we know what game modes you want to be playing Mortis on. Of course in this order is Gem grab as well as showdown really close behind that it depends on what type of player you are inside of brawl stars if you are a showdown main stick to showdown for sure he's really really good at just staying alive with his mobility and then bounty they're close after he's not very good on siege he's decent on brawl ball you can probably play him on there he's probably his fourth best game mode and then heist you do not want to play him on whatsoever there are some people who've gotten away with it and made really really stellar videos out of it but it's just very inconsistent you don't want to play mortis on heist Alrighty guys, so next it is time to get into the juicy mechanics, the stuff that you've been waiting for, the things that you need to be practicing day in and day out in order to become really, really good with Mortis. Now of course, Mortis in my opinion is a pretty high skill cap brawler, so it takes his mechanics a little bit of getting used to, but once you have them down, it's kind of like second nature, it's almost like riding a bike. So we're going to be going over those things right now. Alrighty guys, so jumping into the very first tip, and this one is a very, very important one. That is, always try to land your super on at least two different opponents on the map. Whether that be a brawler that's right next to you, you're trying to pick up the kill, and a brawler that's just respawning all the way up the map, always try to angle it in a direction that you're going to hit at least two different brawlers. This helps in a couple different ways. Number one is that Mortis really relies on his super to make those critical plays against the enemy team comp. Think of Mortis as a very up and down brawler. For the majority of the game, you're not going to be doing a whole lot. Just just adding pressure by being on the enemy team's side or being close so that they're shooting at you, kind of like a decoy. But when it matters, you have to make those critical plays and you have three chances to do it. You have three ammo because Mortis takes a really long time to reload. So when you dash in to go in for a big play against a brawler trying to take out an enemy unit, you have to be able to make sure that you can take out that brawler to actually make a difference. So if you have your super as well as your three attacks, you can deal some pretty dang significant damage to the brawler that you're going for. And the second reason is that Mortis's super is his healing element. It allows him to stay in the fight for a little bit longer and if you can get double the healing or even triple the healing by landing your super on multiple units on the enemy team it allows you to stay in the fight that much longer. So moving on to the next mechanic or tip that I can give you with Mortis which is also super important is make sure you memorize how much damage your Mortis does. Of course we all have different level Mortises. Mine's maxed out. You might be a little bit lower than that or even maxed out with me but I know by heart my Mortis does 1260 damage because I need to know that to know if I can 3-shot a brawler, 4-shot a brawler, or 5-shot a brawler. This is very important. So the brawlers that take 3 shots to kill, those are the brawlers that you want to be investing your time in going for for the majority of the match. You want to be a nuisance to that brawler. Say you're playing on a gem grab team comp, going up against a team comp with a Rico on it. You want to be hovering around that Rico for the majority of the match so that you can actually take them out fairly easily and do something for your team, making it 2 against 3 so that's in your favor for control. Also, while you're going for those brawlers that are taking 3 shots to kill, you're going to be 
be charging up your super as well. And then once you have your super, it's going to be much easier to go for the brawlers that take four shots to kill. So as for the brawlers that take four shots to kill, you need to be careful going for these brawlers. Say you're going up against a penny. It's ideal that you hit them with your very first shot. So wait for them to get a little bit too close while you're hiding in the bushes so that you can dash out and hit them with that very first dash. If you're using your first dash to get close to the penny and then your other two to deal the damage, you're going to have to wait for two more ammo, which is a lot of time to take damage from the enemy team. So if you're able to dash in, deal that first initial damage, and then the other two, all you have to do is wait for one more ammo to take out that penny. Now, as we're getting higher and higher in shots in order to take out a specific brawler that we're going for, five or more becomes really, really difficult for Mortis. So those higher health, medium range brawlers or the tankier units are really, really difficult for Mortis. Number one, you're either going to need help from your teammates to deal some damage once they get into that range of four or three shots, or number two, you're going to have to make some incredible plays, and that is trying to hit more than one unit with your attack. So if they're grouped together, dashing through, getting your super multiple times so that you can keep stacking the damage with your super and attacks. But that is very rare. It's, it's pretty dang difficult to find a situation where brawlers are grouped together like that, especially three of them. But if they are, you can make some pretty incredible plays with Mortis. Just keep in mind to keep your finger hovered over that super button. You're going to need that healing once you dash through them. You're taking three different brawlers damage at once. <laughs> Moving on to the next mechanic, and this one is fairly small, but it's also very, very important. That is make sure you're making your dashes sporadic, especially if you're going for those brawlers with really high DPS, like a Pam or a Leon or a Colt. Uh, and what I mean by that is I see a lot of people make the mistake of dashing straight at a specific brawler that has that high DPS, like a Pam. If you're right on top of a Pam, you want to be going in multiple different directions so she doesn't know where to shoot. Even auto-aim can't keep up with Mortis if you're dashing in weird angles. And believe it or not, if you're going for a Pam, a pretty pretty dang hard counter for Mortis, if you're dashing through her at all these crazy angles, you can stay on that Pam for a really long time, charging up your attack, as well as maybe get your super, and eventually probably take them out. Moving on to the next mechanic, and this one is also super, super important. Be honest with you guys, I just kind of found out about this one not too long ago, and it really improved my game with Mortis, and that is always keep in the back of your head that your super also gets a heal off of pets and turrets in the game. So mortars, healing stations, Nita's bear, all those things will get you that 1,260 health or whatever damage your mortis does back to your mortis so for example if you're going for a pam and her healing station is right on top of her try to hit the pam with the super try to hit the healing station with the super as well as another brawler that is so much healing and it allows you to stay in the fight for a really really long time the final mechanic that we're going to be going over in today's video is arguably the most important one, so hopefully you stuck around for all of these, and that is be sure to always be counting the ammo of the brawlers that you're going for, especially your hard counters such as Bull and Shelly. Being able to know how many shots a brawler has left allows you to go for your hard counters pretty successfully. Other brawlers that's really important to keep an eye on how much ammo they have are the single shot brawlers, the brawlers that deal a lot of damage in one shot, such as Brocks, Pipers, or Pennies, because if you take one shot while you're trying to go in and be aggressive and you take that shot it kind of disrupts your aggression you have to fall back a little bit so if you're constantly getting barraged by them or if you're juking them out and they only have one shot that kind of gives you a free pass to go in but if we're going back to your hard counters such as bull or shelly say you're playing in showdown um, and they're coming at you full bore and they're thinking you're easy pickings with mortis and they're spamming their auto aim they shoot out all three of their shots that gives you a free pass to dash in and try to get off at least a few shots on the bull before you dash away the only risk that you have to take when that is happening is only one shot going to your character off a bull. And because Mortis has pretty dang high health, he can take that shot and then dash away. And then you kind of rinse and repeat doing the same process over and over. And if you're tactical enough and they're not using their auto aim, you can dash through them. Kind of like what we were talking about, being sporadic with Pam, making your movements really hard to detect. And you can go for those brawlers that hard counter you. Always keep an eye on the ammo. You'll see me talk about that in certain videos where um, we'll see like a penny shoot out a bunch of her shots at once and then we go in because we know she doesn't have any ammo left to keep us away super super important so guys those are my tips that i'm going to be going over in today's video there are plenty more that i could be sharing with you but i can't guys i'm the mortis guy i have to keep my secrets no i'm just kidding guys those are generally the only ones that i practice with mortis and that have gotten me to the point that i'm at with mortis i don't consider myself to be the best mortis in the world but i feel like i'm somewhat proficient being able to play high level gameplay with mortis and be pretty dang successful with it so hopefully these tips helped you out and hopefully you can practice them and get better improving your game with him he's a pretty difficult 
difficult brawler to get down, but once you get him down, he's incredibly fun to play with. But guys, for the remainder of the video, we're going to be hopping into some more of this gameplay, probably on Showdown, to see how we can do and maybe go and practice some of these mechanics that we went over in today's video. So let's get into it. Here we go. Alrighty guys, so we're back in Brawl Stars. We're going to be hopping into some gameplay with Mortis, hopefully showing you guys some of the mechanics that we went over in today's video. So first things first, we're going to start off with Showdown, and then at the very end of the video, I'm going to jump into some Hard Rock Mind with Random, showing you guys how good Mortis can be if you play him right. So guys, let's hop straight away into it. We're on Erratic Blocks, and we're going to be picking my boy Mortis, and guys, just to give credence, there's no other brother close to the 600 trophy Mortis, and that is because I only play with Mortis right now. <laughs> I just have so much fun with him, and I went on a crazy run last night with Randoms on Gem Grab. We were playing so dang good. It was a bow and a... I forget. Bo and Anita, I believe. Both 400 brawlers. And we were going up against like pro level team cops. And we were doing just fine. It was so awesome. So guys, let's get into this. Let's talk strategy here. So there is a Shelly coming around the corner. And if she goes for us, we're going to need a box to be able to get her pretty easily. Especially if we don't have our super. So if there was a box, but since on this map, they're adjacent to the wall. It makes it difficult to do that strategy. But if there was like a box out here, we could dash through it and get damage while the Shelly is just dealing damage to the box. So we get free damage against the Shellys. But guys, we're rocking two power cubes. There's a lot of Shellys on the map. Okay, so this is a free pass for us since Shelly just shot off her super. Okay, now she's healing up as well as she's really low. So another thing you got to keep in mind along with counting your shots with Mortis is always be sure to keep an eye on how much shots it's going to take before a Shelly gets her super. So we don't know about this Shelly. We haven't been playing with her, but she's following us around. She thinks we're easy pickings. Guys, I'm telling you, all Shellys think we're easy. But we're gonna play a lot, we're gonna play around with her a little bit. Get her super up, dash through her a bit. Make it hard for us to get. Okay, let's do try to dodge as best we can. But this bow is thrashing us. This map might not be the best for Mortis, but we are trying our best here. Okay, I think that's going to be game. Yep, guys. <laughs> Showdown is going to be difficult on this map, that's for sure. But guys, let's hop into another one. Minus six. That is not how you do it. All right, you guys, hopping into the next match. Let's see if we can't do a little bit better than the last game. And I got to come clean with you guys. I don't normally play Mortis on Showdown. That's not me making excuses. I almost always play Mortis in Gem Grab. Um, so this is a little bit different. Um, but we'll have to see. Maybe we should switch up our play style, play a little bit passive, which is pretty much how you want to be playing Mortis on Showdown. Okay, we have another Mortis on the Prowl. Okay, he has two power cubes, but what I was trying to do there is just get some super charged up. Because it's pretty dang clear that we're going to need it. After the way the last game went. So we got Anita trying to poke around. But we're going to play passive. As you guys saw, we were, we were playing aggressive. Okay, this Nita. Okay, let's see. Alright, let's break this up down here. Always try to see what other people are doing in the map. Mortis is kind of like a vulture. He's got to pick apart the brawlers that are really low on health. Okay, now we're getting close to our super, so this is good. And we're playing a lot less passive than we were in the last game. And this Nita is making me angry, guys. Making me aggravated. Um... But in the last game, we were playing way too aggressive. We were out in the open. Everyone knew where we were. And people had their own secret bushes, right? They were just kind of chilling. And when we tried to get to the bottom of the map, level 5 Shelly took us out. But it's all trial and error, especially on Showdown. Nita, I'm not going <laughs> to... If you keep shooting there, I'm not going to go down there to take your hit. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay. We could probably take out this Mortis. He's maxed up, but we have a power cube advantage. And I think we have more super than him. Okay, Leon, different story. You see, everyone's camping. This is going to be so difficult. Okay, so we have half super. So if we hit this Leon twice, we can get a super. He has six power cubes. What's up with the Leons? Get the heck out of here. Go over each other. Alrighty, guys. Passive game. Passive game. We got to re-get those trophies that we lost. We got minus six. Okay, we got poison, but we can take a little bit more pressure here from the poison. Nah, dang it. Okay, it was three shots to char charge up our super. But you know what? A level 7 Leon, or seven or what was it? 5 power cube Leon is going to be pretty tricky to go for. But done with plus 2 trophies, let's do one more game of Showdown. And then want to hop into Gem Grab, um, where I feel comfortable. 
<laughs> Especially at 600 trophies, guys. I never play Mortis and Showdown at this high trophy range. Okie dokie, guys. Let's hop straight away into the next match and final match on Showdown. So finally, a box that isn't... Is next to a barrel, but it still has properties that we can use, like, against a Shelly. Let's see. Maybe she'll come over here. But let's get to work on this box here. Maybe the Barley will leave and we can get that box as well two power cubes no. i'm being aggressive let's see if we can minimize yeah we don't take damage like this okay good deal now she has a lot of supers so we need to be careful for that shelly she got a lot of damage off on us chip damage i'm not i'm not too afraid to go for that shelly though if we take probably another hit or two Probably going to be enough to have her super. Then it's... <laughs> then it's bad news. Then we then we die. Okay, let's see who else is on the map. Mm, I'm so sick of that Shelly spinning. Okay, we got a Primo. Primo can be some good super fodder. Got a bull. Now, killing tanks is... Yes, you can do that with mortars, but not against a six bull. <laughs> That's when it kind of gets a little bit fuzzy. What's up with everyone camping on this map? This is annoying. Hopefully there's no one in this bush. Okay. Let's wait. Let's wait and see. Holy man. Look, you know what? If everyone's camping, we're joining. We're joining the camping squad. Especially a Leon. I feel like a Leon would be going ham against these guys. But this is 600 trophy level gameplay. So people are playing. Doing their best to stay alive. Okay. We got pushed out of our bush. I'm surprised no one's camping here. Oh, we got a Leon. Okay. We're getting closer. Uh, never mind. We're not. It's going to be at least four shots to get our super. Do some damage to the Leon. What do you know? Another Leon. Guys, I'm telling you, Leon overpowered in Showdown. See if the Leon goes for us. Nice. We tried going for the Leon, but it was either Leon or Bull. But you know what? Third place. I guess the best way to play Mortis in Showdown is very, very passive, which we said in the beginning of the video. But guys, we're only one trophy down now. We made our trophies back somewhat. But for the remainder of the video, I want to hop into some Hard Rock Mine with randoms. Now, I played on a different map last night, but it should be the same premise, as well as I feel like Hard Rock Mine is going to be even better of a map for Mortis. So let's see if we can't carry some randoms. Here we go. Alrighty, guys, finally finding our match. It took a very long time. Let's see. So we're going up against a really good team comp, so we're going to try our best to do it here. And let's see. Let's see, let's see. So we got a Rico, which is one of those brawlers that's that three-shot brawler, but it's probably one of the worst three-shot brawlers. She's very difficult to go for. But there we go. Swiping straight through. Now we got a Pam and a Jean to deal with. Now I've noticed that Jean isn't super crazy difficult to go for. So we're going in for real Canadian. Okay, taking out real. And we're up to a pretty solid lead, but I don't like being on this half. I'd much rather be on the other half of the map because we're blocked by this wall right here. All right, let's just be aggressive in the back. This adds so much pressure if we can just stay alive back here, guys. Okay, so we're dashing straight at him. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Come on, guys. Hold it down. Nice. Okay, we took out the Rico. So we have two gems back here. Now, I don't want these gems. Nice. Good job. Okay, not necessarily carrying randoms, but this is a really good team, guys. Okay, being sporadic as possible. Taking out Pam. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, we got real. Okay, he took us out, but I think we delayed him enough. But we do have DPS Rico in the back. And we can't have... We can't have her die. I'm just going to pick this up here, just in case one of us dies. Nice, guys. Alrighty, guys, so that's going to be the end of the video. Hope you guys all found it fun and useful at the same time. Make sure to let me know what you thought of the video down below. I'd love to do it for other brawlers as well. Obviously, I know a little bit more about Mortis than the other brawlers in the game, just a little bit, just because I play with him a lot, so I had a lot of information to give to you in today's video, but make sure to let me know in the comments. I would love that. So, guys, with that being said, hope you all did enjoy it. Make sure to leave a like if you did. Also, subscribe down below and be a part of the Raid fam. We would love to have you. So, guys, with that being said, make sure to keep having fun, Brawl Stars, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace out, guys. <laughs>